Hey, it's you again. What do you mean, it's me again? I have been me the whole time. Geez, you're grouchy today. Have you been graphing? No, I'm not grouchy. Or wasn't until you came along. What's up? Well, funny you should ask. I, excuse me. I have written a book. Uh, great, I guess. Will it ever be translated into English? You know, no one usually can tell what you are talking about. Very funny. Ha ha, forgot to laugh. My book is a guide for success in high school physics. And? It is called, Drum Roll Please. How to get full credit when answering physics problems, or how to at least get the highest amount of partial credit. Yes, quite catchy, if I say so myself. Hey, my bus doesn't come for about 10 more minutes, so you might as well tell me about it. Okay, it goes like this. Lots of physics students have difficulty with solving problems. They try to solve them in their heads. They don't write much down. Well, yes, I have observed that, to be honest. So, stay with me here, I have developed a system to help them structure the problem and visualize what they are dealing with. You oh, I feel an acronym coming on. I always get that acronym feeling around you. It's not a pleasant feeling. You'd like this one. It's called I No For Words Shut up One more time I know for words. Shut up. Keep going. I is for illustration. It really helps to draw the problem. I'm not talking Picasso here. Just a little sketch to help us think and see. The latest research shows that when students... Okay, on with it. No. Stands for knowns. In physics problems, you are given some information, for example the mass, the velocity, or whatever. Write it down. For instance, mass equal to 5 kilograms, distance equal to 10 meters, whatever. Simple enough. Next is the word for... Four stands for formula. If you are going to use a formula, write it down. That helps you see if you have everything you need. I'm still awake. Keep going. Then, words. Stands for work. Show your work. Don't do it all in your head. Too many mistakes. No partial credit. Shut up. I'm sorry. Is your bus almost here? No, what does shut up stand for? Oh. Shut up means showing the solution with units. Often, it's nice to put a little box around it. Well, yes, how neat and tidy. So that's it. I know four words, shut up. Illustration. Knowns. Formula. Work. Solution with units. All right, sounds good. Still don't think I will read the book, though. I gotta go. So, like I always say, up with hatters. And down with haters. Peace out. Peace out.